Hey Mario Carters and Frenzy fans, welcome to our channel where we talk about the races in Ranked, the points potential we can get, and the ticket transactions that might get us there. So today we're going to start off this episode talking about something that I am quite thrilled about. So Yeah, you are. I'm really happy, guys. It's <laughs> okay. quite impressive. <laughs> so last fall, we had the Heavy Hitter's Pipe, is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. Okay, it was called the Heavy Hitter's Pipe. I don't know if you guys remember this or if you've been around long enough, but... They had some really cool high ends and then just tons of supers. There were like no commons pretty much. There were no commons. The majority of the pipe was super drivers. Yeah. And the difference between you and me is I remember you were pulling and when you didn't get high ends you were bummed. And I was stoked about this pipe. I was so excited. I was like this is our chance to just load up our supers as high as we can possibly get with as many rubies as we have. So. Ever since that, I have been on a quest with my supers to build out my army. And yesterday, no, what was it? Two days ago. Today's the third day. Whenever that means. Three days ago, I finally did it. So look at this. You got Mario to level seven, Peach and Toadette, Yoshi, Daisy, Toad, Bowser, Donkey Kong so and Diddy Kong. All of the non-premium super drivers. To level 7. You got to level 7. I've been trying so hard. Anytime they would come into my shop, I would buy it. I'd save up coins. And then my other goal was to get my commons as quickly as I could to level 7. So that I would have more of a chance of a super ticket popping up in my daily selects. And so every time I had a chance to acquire a super, I went for it. And finally, I have them all. And here was my strategy behind that. My strategy was if I can max out as many of these dang little super guys that keep popping into my shop that I don't really want because I'm never going to race them, maybe one day they'll give me high-end tickets instead of super tickets. You were definitely playing the long game back last fall. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur at heart and I'm all about compound interest and building yeah. up my arsenals of awesomeness. So after having achieved level seven for all the non-premium super drivers, what my, did your first daily select shop look like? Like, what's does my theory pay off? It does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> this was my like underwritten theory. Well, while this guy over here is all worried about ACR, I'm like, nope. It's all about the supers. <laughs> <laughs> so you got two high-end driver tickets. Yep. And then I on the same day, the first day, and that I you had, had all your supers maxed out. And I had almost sixty thousand coins, so it was no problem. The and only, then, no, and, the, and then the next day, what happened? Got another high-end driver. <laughs> <laughs> so within within two days, 36,000 coins. Yep. And here's the thing, is for the longest totally time, I was sitting around like eighty to 90,000 coins until the last like three weeks. The last three weeks, any time like Toadette would pop into my shop or Diddy Kong or the, Comet, or the Supers that were just almost there but not quite, I would buy for 3,000 coins. Yep. So it brought me down a little bit. Yeah. But now we're good. And then when I pull pipes, if I pull those commons, I'll just get coins so I can afford all the high ends that Mario Kart's going to give me. Yeah. Because they're going to give me all of them. So nicely done. Hey, thanks. It's quite the feat. I'm still, I think, uh, when you did it, I was taking a look at my uh, situation in order to be able to get all my non-premium supers to level 7. And I think I'm like 36 levels away. Yeah. That's not too bad, though. I've got like 21, 22 tickets. Yeah. So. You're getting close. You're only like 15. See, that was about the point I was at when I was like, I'm just going to start buying them every time they pop into my shop. Yeah. Because I was buying all the, like the wild cards, all the wild supers that popped into my shop. But when it came to, I was like holding off on not actually like acquiring the actual ones mm -hmm. because I wanted it to be more in control of like, well, if rank requires one, I have the wild supers to level that up mm -hmm. um but then when i was about as close as you are now i just started buying them yeah so if i mm -hmm. had more coins i would probably do the same but it's just gonna take me a long time yeah so congratulations hey thanks that's amazing i'm excited i hope you keep on getting high-end tickets so that you can maybe start taking a look at 
getting your first ACR badge. We shall see. More on that later. <laughs> so, uh, wait, our before we move on, okay, everybody take a moment to put out all the good vibes to the universe that I constantly get high in. <laughs> it's just my theory is banking on that one principle because all my suit, okay, as exciting as it is to get all the supers up to level seven, they don't really serve you that well. Mm. They can. They can. Under the right circumstances. Under the right circumstances. But you know what does serve you well? High-end tickets. Yes, they do. Let's do it. So our last episode that we did was a unique episode. It was our first installment of our driver duels, where <laughs> we take a look at two different drivers that have different skills that are at different levels and base points. And we pretend to be sports announcers. And we pretend to be sports announcers. Boxer announcers. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we had two really good runs. Yeah, we did. Uh, and put them head to head. Mm -hmm. And you could see in real time as the race started and got through the first lap and then ended. Um, how Dry Bones and Tuxedo Mario. How, how they duked it out. Yep. And uh, both of them, so... Dry Bowser got a triple coin frenzy. Yeah, he did. Which, I don't know happened. that I've actually ever had one of those before. I've had a cute, a couple of triple coin box frenzies. None of them successful, though. Yeah. I always get, you know, blue shelled at the end yep. or, you know, just super cheap junk that just goes on and triple coin box frenzies just go down the tubes. Um, but then Tuxedo Mario got uh, two coin box frenzies mm -hmm. and then ended with a coin frenzy. And it was actually really close between the two. Um, it was fun watching them, like, coming across the yeah. line. You're like, wait, which one's ahead? I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to do that in the future when there's another situation where it looks like points-wise they might uh, kind of do okay. Yeah. Like, a lot of times, you know, people ask, well, should I use this driver or this driver? And... Um, and if you didn't watch it, Dry Bowser, he was at level 7, and Tuxedo Mario, which is a coin box driver, was at level 4. So three levels difference. But we were trying to compare, like, what's better, like, having a level 4 coin box driver or Dry Bowser, which is not a coin... What is his specialty? That Bowser big, shell. Big green shell. Yeah. Worthless thing. So, well, not entirely. If you're sitting in last place and you get a Bowser Shell Frenzy. That's true. It can be pretty, pretty amazing. So, that was on your account that mm -hmm. we did the matchup. So for this week's ranked um, on my account. I haven't seen this yet. So, didn't record the sound on this one again, but it's okay. Starting off with a coin frenzy. Holy cow. <laughs> In first place. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, this is good. Starting off with a coin frenzy, starting off in first place. No! Oh, just kidding. That's <laughs> so, so sad. From first to eighth, of course, drop combo, whatever. And so, got a little bit of lightning though. Nice. Which helped out, got me right back into <gasps> first. Nice, what do you take him out? Fairly fast. Getting the coins. Missing some coins. <laughs> you know how it is. Totally. Second no coin frenzy. On the first lap. On the first lap. Wow. That's awesome. That's a good spot to get it to. Mm hmm. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to keep combo there. Yeah. You want to avoid those three coins on the second lap because they're nothing but bad luck. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hit those coins at all. That's why I made sure to not hit them. <laughs> Like, I don't necessarily believe you. Yeah, that's okay. But these ones are good luck? Apparently. Triple coin frenzy. No again. way. On the same course. That blows my mind. Like a day apart. Okay, so what's more valuable, a coin frenzy or a coin box frenzy? It depends. Okay. A coin frenzy is more reliable. Yep. Because you get... The frenzy action count and the coin for every single frenzy action. Okay. Coin box has the potential to have a lot more coins. However, 
you can be gliding or just like in yeah. a weird like turn and not get as many coins as you would yeah. in a coin frenzy. I think that's what happened with Tuxedo Mario. The okay. first coin box frenzy. It was flying. It was when he was gliding. Yep. Um, Holy cow, look at that score. So yeah, 36,000 with bill. 184 actions. Yeah. And originally in the calculator, we were thinking, oh, 140, 150 actions for a non-coin box driver. Yeah. Uh, so apparently I did better than I anticipated. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Getting 120 coins. 120 coins for coin break, maybe. And almost 5,000 more points. So. Not bad at all. So if we go over here to calculator oh you killed it oh wait that's the last one oh, okay yeah so oh you I really killed it <laughs> 30,000 with the 150 actions yeah but who gets a triple coin frenzy yeah it doesn't happen very often I've that's never why seen it's one. blowing my mind that I got two triple coin frenzies within two days on yeah. the same course <laughs> that's awesome so very cool anyway and then the other one let's see so which race is this? So this is Choco Island. Choco Island. Okay. How do you feel about this race? You know, I feel like this one has a lot of potential. I don't think that I don't think that this race is the best effort that I've ever put yeah. into this particular course. Coin um, frenzy though. It's a coin frenzy. And you're hitting those coins. Nice. Uh, oh, one of them. Swallowing them. <laughs> they got those three. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely one of the better um, Chuckle Island ones. Yeah. There are some that are really fun and some that are just really not very right. fun. And for this being an R version. Oh, snap! Um, it actually, it, it feels more like a T, right? Yeah. There are only a couple of parts that are really hard to keep combo on. So, double coin frenzy. Yeah. And I don't think I had any coin boxes. Do you remember any coin boxes? Yeah, I haven't had I don't any remember. Yet. Oh, okay. Oh, there we so go. then I did the item tickets. Mm -hmm. And I get the coin box. Oh, no, that's there. scary. Oh, that could have gone totally yeah, different. And then blue oh, shell. My the whatever, luck. right? You didn't get the banana, you didn't get the blue shell. Oh. So, 31. Oh, and actually, let's see. Let's figure out. How many actions? So, 144 actions. That's awesome. I mean, if they were coin box frenzies with, like, another coin box or two, you know, easily in the 160, yeah. 175, maybe 180 or 90 range. But I just wasn't feeling it, this tour, really. So, uh, coming back over here to the calculator... I was actually anticipating getting about thirty-three and a half thousand. Okay. But I played it so much and yeah. just I mean, the, two frenzies, coin frenzies. the frenzies aren't coming out. Yeah. The, the the coin box frenzies aren't coming out. So, um, then the very last one, which is actually the first cheap cheap island. Not a big fan of this course. I mean it's fine, the course itself, but just due to the fact that I have nothing. <laughs> I have a it, top it, shelf it cart feel, or glider. It feels like April of 2020 again. Oh yeah, you don't even have a driver. <laughs> yeah, and I've got nothing. Yeah, <laughs> when he says he has nothing, top shelf, that's yeah. legitimately. So okay. if you're in the same boat with me in the calculator, you're going to want to put uh, level zero for everything, but go ahead and include your base points. Yeah. Um, and if you don't have that top shelf glider, instead of getting the... You know, anywhere from 56 to 66 bonus points per action. you got to subtract 15 from that. And then if you only have a bottom shelf glider, it's another 15 from that. So, gotcha. anyway, um, we'll go ahead and take a look. Oh, so last I checked, I'm in sixth place. Okay. Which I'm perfectly fine with. It's a good week. I'll tear to down. Um, next week is driver tickets, so... Crossing my fingers, maybe it'll be a little bit easier competition. Yeah. Um, so let's actually pull open the app real quick. So let's take a look over here. And not that I'm opposed to being matched up with people that are better in the game than me or yeah. have played for longer, 
but it's a little ridiculous when they have every single driver, every single cart, and every single glider. Mm -hmm. All the commons at level 7. You thought you were hot stuff with level 7 stuff? They got level 7 all over the place. Holy snap. Including high-end drivers. Wow. <laughs> and they're only tier 66? Huh? That's impressive. Let's see. What were they? Yeah, tier 66. Oh, what tier are you? 66. Yeah. So same tier, but so uh, completely different loadouts. Yeah. So the guy that has been in first place for a long time. This guy here. Uh, tier 70. Mm -hmm. Spectacle versus this guy. Okay, here we go. This is who I meant to click on. Okay, so here's another guy. 120 drivers. 163 carts. Yep. And then everything level 7. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cow. Okay, yeah, sorry. So this guy, sorry. I was Holy anticipating clicking cow. on this one first. He legit has everything now that's impressive. up to level 7. That's impressive. Commons and supers, which you only get there by pulling everything. Yeah. Like, that's the only way. That's impressive. And so, yeah, he's got... Even his high ends. Oh, he's a whale. So the only two... He must have gone on vacation or... Yeah. Like, broke his phone or something. <laughs> yeah. Because he didn't end up getting two drivers, like, right there in the yeah. middle. But ever since then i mean he's just got he's got everything so blows my mind you know props to you um that's fine but it's hard to compete with that yeah yeah he's fifteen thousand points ahead of me for first mm -hmm. and i mean i would have had to spend so many tickets and pulled so many pipes for stuff that i just really wasn't yeah that's enthused hard. about that's so hard. we're just gonna hope that uh six place sticks i've only got six place by what is that? 44 points? It's impressive. <laughs> so, <laughs> hopefully, six. Usually, I'm trying to get like the small margin of victory at first place. Yeah. Totally works with sixth place, too. <laughs> Nintendo sees it and is like, oh, <laughs> feel bad for the guy. I'm going to call your bluff. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't care. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and transition over into ACR. All right. So, if you've been watching our channel and have been using the ACR calculator, uh, another reminder, I ended up making a little reminder when I made the update, um, but back two tours ago, I made a change uh, in the ACR calculator that makes it, I'm hoping, a little bit more accurate. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the same link for the ACR calculator in all the videos, so it doesn't matter if you got you know, if you download it right now from this video or from an older video, you just need to have downloaded it since the, what was the last tour? The Paris tour? Mm -hmm. Was it the Paris tour? Yep. Yeah. So you, ha you had to have downloaded it since the Paris tour, since I think I did it at the very end of the wedding tour. Okay. Um, and one other note is in the ranked calculator, whenever you don't have a top shelf, you can put in... I show you that you put in a level zero just to let you know that you didn't have a top shelf. Mm -hmm. Technically, to the algorithm that Mario Kart uses to calculate your score, level zero and level one is exactly the same. Okay. In the ACR calculator, though, I found that it's more accurate if you put level one in, even if you don't have a top shelf Interesting. item. Okay. Because the way that the, the calculator works is it averages your levels. Okay. And when you put a zero in there, it pulls it way down and it um, way underestimates uh, what your points are going to be. Gotcha. So go ahead and put in a level one if you have a top shelf item that is level one, or if it's not top, top shelf at all, just go ahead and put in a level one as well. So um, I haven't been playing a whole lot. We had a holiday weekend, so a four day weekend, and um, I just haven't been focus focusing my efforts on ACR yeah. as much, at least this first week. So I've only got, you know, a handful of courses um, filled out. So when we come over here, looks like based on my actual average of bonus points per action, which is like 55 and a half, I'm going to need about 141 
average actions per course, and right now I'm sitting at 140. Okay. So with Alex's uh, prediction of 974,000, the calculator's predicting I'm only going to be able to get about 970. So you'll be close. Granted, this there's so much fluctuation that mm -hmm. happens when you start doing the calculator. Oh, it really doesn't start to like kind of settle out until you get half of the tour really played. Yeah, which you'll pull. You, it, it tends to go up too. Like you'll get more points than just calculating at the beginning. Yeah. So anyway, I think I think it's doable. Um, just gonna have to kind of grind at it. And like I've said before, we're all ninety-five percent of us. We're all in the same boat yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as far as loadouts and stuff um, for the tour. But uh, we did something a little unique and interesting this time. We filled out an ACR calculator for you and your loadout, and you actually haven't seen what the results are here. By we filled it out. <laughs> I filled it out. Yes, me too. I was like, I don't have time. Can you help me out? I've got plenty of time. <laughs> so this 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 is all your drivers, carts, and gliders. Okay. Um, that I would anticipate that you would select for the entire tour. Okay. And we haven't recorded anything. No. Nope. And so this is based on a overwritten value of bonus points per action of 55, which okay. is kind of a ballpark value. Okay. Um, and I am not prepared. So it looks like uh, you need 146 actions to okay. average 146 for the entire tour. Okay. In order to be able to reach that 974,000. Okay. So, very, very reachable. Here's Is the, it? Here's the thing that I want to show you, though. Okay, so right now you're at 146. Okay. So this tour, the Happy Ride, which you have at level 7 in single uncapped, <laughs> is used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8 times. Uh, That's awesome. This tour. So are you going to give me a top 1,000 bench? No, <laughs> I'm just saying it's possible. It we'll, possible. We'll, we'll see if it's possible for you to be able to get the badge. So if we were to change all these ones that are here underlined from single uncapped to double uncapped. Okay. 5595 there. 5595 there. 595 there. And granted, this is just single cap, so you could triple uncap it, which would... I'd be okay with that. Get you even more. I mean, it's a super valuable card. Well, do you guys, my scientific approach to level things up, outside of is a coin box, it doesn't make me happy. And the happy ride. Does it spark joy? It sparks joy. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation Peach and the happy ride. <laughs> okay, so if you were to do that one upgrade. Okay. It brings you down to 145 What's average that? action, so it drops your action by one. Okay. Now, Rosalina Swimwear. Where? Okay. She's in the pipe hey, next week. That's me on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> right up there in the corner. <laughs> My cartoon face. Do I have to look over that way? Yeah. yeah. If I look over that way, there she is. Hey, there I am. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> you have her right now at level four and 980 okay. base points. So, let's say hypothetically, you were to pull her and slap a ticket on her. Let's just say hypothetically, I were to get all of my supers to level 7 and got three high-end tickets in my shop. Okay, so how would we fill out the calculator? Well, I use, I just use two of my high-end tickets because I don't think I'll pull her. Oh, you have like 45 high-end tickets that are just sitting there, so I have... you could take her up to level 6. Should we see what happens when you take her to level 6 That's... and double on cap? That's depleting my resources. Okay, so we'll just take it to level five then. Okay, <laughs> I'm better with because, that. Because your high-end <laughs> tickets are like a pillow to you. <laughs> you want to keep them nice and fluffy and never use them. <laughs> okay. It's being frugal. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and, okay, let's do this. Let's do level, go from level four to level five first. While he does that, I have to stand up for myself here. One, I didn't have that many until recently, because now I, I just bought three in like the last 
two days, three mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. And I only really have like 11 or 12 right now. Yeah. But I keep But them. there are a lot of people that are watching that are like, only 11 or 12. Only 11 I don't or have any. Yeah, but here's the thing is I save them up for the ones, the times I really want to win rank. Or if there's a new coin box driver. Like, I was able to take Tuxedo Mario to level 4 super quick. Mm -hmm. Which is paying dividends, sort of, this so, week. It is, yeah. So I just sit on them until I really want to use them. Yeah. And I go all in. So, if you were to use a ticket or two on okay. Rosalina Swimwear, I'm okay with that. That would get you to 143. Oh, now we're in So, my that ball. drops two <laughs> actions. And then, if we were to uncap her to 1190, in all these instances. She's used a lot of this to her. Do you have these all memorized? No, I have them underlined. Oh, okay. So they're easy <laughs> to get to. Mine is brilliant. Okay, so if we do that, it pulls it down to 142. So just by uncapping the happy ride, uncapping Rosalina's swimwear, and getting her one level up, I can it's get my a difference top 1, of badge. four actions. 142 okay. actions on average okay. is probably doable. And that's based on the 55 bonus points per action. So if you end up getting more, let's say you do 56, 57. Let's just okay. say 57 maybe. Okay. Come back over here. 140. Okay, so real talk. Mm-hmm. This is, okay, I'm a casual player, meaning I get my coins most days. I have a gold pass, so it's 600 coins. I get my coins most days. Some days, like on the weekend, I'll play a lot longer, like if I'm having fun and just like trying to get different challenges or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, as a casual player, what does this equate to time commitment wise? Like, are we talking about like, I need to get first place and triple frenzies on every single run? No, not triple frenzies. But double frenzies? You definitely need to get first place okay. on the run, but okay. then at least um, like a good double frenzy run. Not necessarily okay. double coin, just getting those extra 30 actions. Okay. So it's a good time commitment. actions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. So we should try it out. I, I definitely think that your loadout is... Warranted. ...sufficient enough that you definitely have a fighting chance. Okay. We'll oh, see how energetic I get about and it. And so, coming back to the comment earlier, okay. a lot of these, like level 7s you'll see, are 675, which means it's a non points uncapped super driver. So, a lot of these level 7s, you can My double supers are and up. triple. Exactly. No, and this is a good tour for it because you got a lot of these older, like Daisy Hills okay. and uh, Rock Rock Mountain, right? Yep. Kind of these classic ones, the ones that originally came out in the game where it was just supers that were yeah. top shelf. You actually have a lot. So if you were to at least double, if not triple uncap, because I know you have a lot of points uncap tickets. I don't know what you're talking about. You should about. take a look. And it looks like just getting some points. So you have, oh no, I think that's a, a common, 7 at 464. So anyway, there are some that you have room to be able to get some more points on, which is just going to help <laughs> you out in the long run with the with the average actions that are required. So okay, totally doable. All right. You should just see how it goes. We'll see time wise. You might you might surprise yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play more during the evenings than I have been playing yeah. so far this tour. We'll just see where I land. Yeah. So we're all rooting for you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> we'll report back. <laughs> So, Isn't that right, Gunther? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you didn't notice, in our last dual race one, we I just kept calling him a different name every second <laughs> because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. Back to the real stuff. What's up? So, um, hopefully everyone's enjoying Ranked this week. Enjoying the summer tour. Yep. Um, oh, you know what we didn't do? That we should do. All clear pipe. Oh, that's right. Okay. 
This is important. So, we're gonna go ahead and cut. Or not. We'll see how good the dialogue goes. <laughs> <laughs> but here, I've been saving the all clear pipe for the video. Okay. This is a reverse race. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Right? So, let's see what we get. So what are your thoughts though, like legitimately, on trying to get uh, all cup punching? Sounds fun. It really does. No, no, it really does, but you know me, like, my nights are my let's decompress from the day uh -huh. type time. And I'm, okay, I work from home. I own my own business. I'm on the computer all day. So by the time nighttime rolls around, I love just chillaxing sometimes, and being on my phone 24-7 doesn't really do it for me all the yeah. time. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how this week goes. We'll just see. Yeah. It's kind of a busy work week, so we'll just we'll play it by ear. I'll let you guys know. I think it's totally doable. I think you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, I mean, so you, you, you could do it, I think, this tour. Um... The more that you wait, and the more that stuff gets leveled up, it'll probably be easier in yeah. the future. But I don't know. I'm thinking if you have the opportunity now, like it might, might as just, well do it. It might just be fun. Yeah. Just, just, right. just give it, a, just give it a whack. I'll give it a whack. I'll play more. Yeah. All right. So. What's it gonna be? What do you want? Ooh, something to help me level stuff up. Okay. Like the uh, the steel driver. That'd be cool. Could really use or the eight bit star. Is he halfway to the next level? Is that yeah. what's up? Yep. Yeah, but if I can save tickets getting stuff up yeah. to the next level, then that'd be great. So truth be told, I haven't spent a ticket since the Bowser versus Donkey Kong tour. Okay. Because I spent all of my tickets then. And then ever since then, I've wanted to get stuck ACR up. Top 100 so that when that opportunity arises, I'll have just a ton of tickets to be able to unload. Subscribing to my strategy. So, here we go. Here is All Clear Pipe. Okay. The Sports Coupe. Please don't say Sports Coupe. It's not Coupe. It's a coupe. Sedans, coupes. <laughs> I don't know how many people I hear say, it's a coupe. No, it's a sports coupe. <laughs> I'll start saying coupe from now on. <laughs> we'll drive down the street. Ooh, did you see that coupe? <laughs> so anyway, that was fun. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be pulling on the pirate pipe. I've kind of talked myself out of it. Based on the loadout that I have, the yeah. three spotlights really don't do very much for me. An unpopular opinion, I kind of think that Nintendo's setting the sun on those three. We I had a long conversation about this this weekend. I don't, I don't know that, uh, I think that the time for, for, for their value has passed. And I'm hoping that this is actually kind of the end of the chapter for like the new characters that were in year one. And that this is going to be the beginning of a new chapter of some new original characters. That'd be cool. Really? Okay, we're calling a shot right now. Nintendo, please give us Bowser Fury. Mm. That would make this guy over here super, super happy. Or Samurai Mario. Ooh, that'd be cool. Is there a really cool Yoshi? I like Yoshi. I'm sure there is. I just gotta find one. Okay, give me a really cool Yoshi. Well, good luck in Ranked this week. Good luck in ACR. We'll uh, come up with another video probably in a couple of days that uh, we'll go over next week's Ranked tracks. Yep. Um, make sure to check out the description for this week's and next week's uh, double and triple features. Spoiler alert, there are no triple features, it's only double features. And also in the description are links for the ACR calculator, which yep. is updated, so make sure that you get it, the updated version, and Remember the, ranked, the ranked calculator. Yeah. And guys, our, we're 
thank you so much for subscribing. I know that we did like we hit 100 subscribers, but they're continuing to climb, to climb. So please subscribe, yeah. share with your friends. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, we do. We really, really do. So thank you very much. Yeah. And until next time, may the frenzies be forever in your favor.